Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail and this is our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi hello, how are you? Thanks for popping in and seeing me today. It is really great to see you here. So today I've got another weave tutorial for you. This one has the very fancy name of a supersonic waves weave. Alright guys, it's a great quick little uh, weave that I'm sure you'll enjoy, but let's jump straight into it. Okay guys, so I've got some sample pieces here for you of the supersonic waves weave. So coming up here on the side of the screen will be the ring sizes that I used to make these pieces with. They'll also be listed down in the description section that you can find underneath this video. But to run through them quickly with you, the pink version over here is our 14 gauge AWG version that's 1.6 millimeter diameter wire and the ring IDs for this one were 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.76 millimeters a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeters 5 sixteenths of an inch or 7.94 millimeters and 3 eighths of an inch which is 9.53 millimeters the next version, the red and orange version, is our 16 gauge AWG 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. The four ring sizes for this were 5 30 seconds of an inch, 3.97 millimeters, 3 sixteenths of an inch, or 4.76 millimeters, a quarter of an inch, 6.35 millimeters, and 9 30 seconds of an inch, which is 7.14 millimeters. Our 18 gauge version is one millimeter diameter wire. The four ring sizes for this one were um, 9 64ths of an inch, 3.57 millimeters. The next one is 5 30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters. 3 sixteenths of an inch, 4.76 millimeters. And the final size is 5.75 millimeters. And then our 20 gauge version, which is 0.8 millimeter diameter wire. Um, our four ring sizes are 3 30 seconds or 2.38 millimeters for the small, 1 8th of an inch or 3.18 millimeters, 5 30 seconds of an inch, 3.97 millimeters. And the last one is 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.76 millimeters. So this weave is a little bit of a fun weave. It uh, you can weave it up in various colorways. It's you don't have to do the four different colors that I will be showing you today. Um, but it's it's a very simple weave. So I don't expect any of you guys will have very much trouble with this at all. Okay, so regardless of colorway, this weave uses four different ring sizes, and they I'll be calling them small, medium, large, and extra large for the sake of the video. Um, I have also pre-closed some of my rings. Now, you don't necessarily have to. If you prefer not to pre-close, you can close them up as you go along. But just for speed and uh, sake of ease, I have pre-closed some of my rings that I will be working with. But as I said, that is totally up to you. So I'll be working in our 14 gauge rings today. So that's the 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. And I'm going to take up one of my extra large rings. And onto that, I'm going to pop an extra large ring, a large ring, medium ring, a small ring. And then I'm going to pop on a small ring, a medium ring, a large ring and an extra large ring and then close that large ring up and we want to separate out those rings that we just placed so that we have one full set of four on each side so with our rings separated so we've got one full set on each side with our large rings I'm going to go through all of the rings from the medium rings upwards. So I'm going to skip the small rings and go through all of the rings except for the small. Okay, so just straight through like that. Close it up 
and position your rings again. So you can see we've got the extra large ring going through all of them, the large ring going through three pairs. I'm going to then take up our medium ring and I will feed that through the large and the extra large rings. Okay, again, separate them out into position and to finally take up a small ring and just feed that through the extra large rings up there at the top of the weave. Okay, and putting them into position, your weave should look like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is take up another opened extra large ring. And onto that I'm going to pop a small, a medium, a large and an extra large. And then I'm going to feed my opened ring through one side of our working piece, okay? Making sure I pick up all of those rings on that side. Close my large ring up. And so we're back to this again. So what we want to do next is take up a large ring and like we did back here, we're going to go through the medium, the large and the extra large ring. So we're going to skip the small rings and go through both sets of the remaining rings and close it up. So your work should look like this. So after placing a large ring, we want to place a medium ring. Again, this time we're going to go through just the medium and the large ring. So one less set of rings each time until you have placed a capturing ring around all sets. Okay, and there's our small rings going in just around the extra large rings. And that's it guys, that is as tricky as it gets. So I'll just run through it once more for you. So taking up an extra large ring, we open that up and onto that I'm going to pop a small, a medium, a large and an extra large ring. And then I'm going to feed that up through all four rings that are on the edge of our working piece. So just go in and scoop them up. Close your extra large ring up. Position all your rings so you've got one full set on each side. We're going to start by taking a large ring and we're going to feed that through medium, large and the extra large rings, both sets of rings. So the ones that are loose and the ones that are already in weave. Close it up. Reposition your rings. The next ring we want to place is our medium ring. This one goes through just the large and the extra large rings. So the two that we just placed and the two that are already in weave. And then finally we want to place a small ring and this one goes through just the two extra large rings. And there you go guys, that's it. That is how you weave up 
the supersonic waves weave. So you just keep doing that until you reach the length that you require. All right, guys, well, that's it. That is the video tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it of help. If you did find the video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Share the video or video if you like. Um, if you're not a subscriber, you might consider doing that first. That would really help our channel along. Ruffle around in some of the other content we've got here. There's plenty for you to look through. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give our shop link that's up here in the corner a little bit of love and affection. That's where we sell the bits and bobs and lots of jigs you're going to need to make up this weave and the many others. All right, guys, thanks once again for popping in and seeing me. I hope you are keeping safe and well and that I catch up with you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.